Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So I had a message a couple of days ago on one of my YouTube videos and somebody asked me how are my Egyptian predatory beetles getting on and can you give them a feed? Well yeah, that's not a problem. Uh, I gave them a feed probably about five or six days ago so they'll definitely uh, do a feed now. And I've only got um, some Mario worms left but they're... Uh, they give up. They give the beetle a good fight. So they're in them two little tubs just at the bottom there. So let's take them off the shelf and uh, let's take a look. There you go, everybody. I've taken the lids off, and there is the first one just there, doing perfectly fine. They do make a lot of noise during the night time, and the other one is somewhere around here. Ah, there it is. And there is the other one. Not very big, probably around about uh, two inches. So, as you know, or as I keep saying, there's that uh, tarantula show coming up next week on the 5th of November. So I'm going to uh, try and get some nice hides for these two enclosures and get rid of this cork bark. I think it just looks a little bit messy. So I'll probably get like three hides for this one. And three hides for that one. But I'll have a quick look and see what they've got. Um, as you know, I've got them hides for my scorpion enclosures. They're the hides that I'm talking about, everybody. And as you know, I've got these off eBay. But um, I had a look at eBay and I can't find them. So these would be perfectly fine to uh, put inside the uh, Egyptian predatory beetles enclosures. But so yeah, unfortunately, I can't find them on eBay no more. So they probably don't sell them. But... If they've got anything like this at the uh, at the show next week at Doncaster, I'll buy six. There it goes, everybody. And there you go. You see what I mean by giving the beetle a good fight. The beetle does have a little bit of trouble trying to pierce the Mario worm's skin with its mandibles. But uh, it does get there in the end. But it's uh, a natural thing that I like to give to the beetles. You know, if they're in the wild and they find a beetle or another worm that they've got to fight, then it's good to uh, mimic their environment. So it's having a it's having a good fight with it. <laughs> so what we'll do is everybody, we'll leave this one to settle down and start eating and get its meal. And uh, let's feed the other one. So here is the second one everybody. Let's put the Mario worm in, here goes. You can probably uh, sense the vibrations in the sand. Oh, don't know what this one's interested. Not yet, anyway. Doesn't look like it's interested, everybody. So let's just try last time. If it doesn't eat, then uh, there's not much you can do. If it's not hungry, it's not hungry. No, looks like that one's just trying to uh, escape from the worm. So. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Took a little bit of time, but uh, we got there in the end, everybody. It's nice to have something different in the collection. It's nice to have tarantulas and scorpions and mantis, but I do love my predatory beetles. These are my first two 
that I have ever had. And I'm still after the African predatory beetles. But um, no, I can't find them, unfortunately. They are very, very hard to get. But you never know. At that show next week, they might have some there. And I'll definitely uh, grab a couple. If this was a, a black or brown cricket, it would probably be dead by now. Because they have a very soft body. Where Mario worms have got a very, very hard skin. So what I'll do is, guys, I'll leave them for about 10 minutes to let them settle down. And I'll get back to you guys very shortly. So, ladies and gentlemen, as it's just said, after 10 minutes, you can see that the uh, Mario worm's head has been completely chewed. And uh, it hasn't taken very, very long. And the beetle's just decided to walk away from its meal. But uh, hopefully it will... Uh, come back very very soon so let's uh, take a look at the other one and there is the second one everybody so I've managed to uh, film this one eating and it hasn't taken this beetle very long to uh, overpower its prey and start eating like I said in the start of the video they haven't been fed for about five or six days so I had a little feeling they were going to be hungry and that other one is still just walking around so it might take them a while to eat their meal probably around about 45 minutes an hour I'm not too sure how long these beetles last for I think they live I think it's a couple of years I'm not too sure I'll have to uh, try and find some information on it there isn't really much information on these unfortunately but once I pierce the Mario worm skin then they can start eating the soft part inside the Mario worm so yeah they're beautiful little beetles when these two die which hopefully is not going to be for a while yet I will get some more so I think I'll leave this one to finish off its meal and uh, let's see how the other one's doing so there is the first one everybody and uh, it doesn't really seem interested in eating no more and the Mario worms just up there and I decided to uh, fill up the water dish as well so what I'll do is I'll put the cork bark back in and I'll um, leave the Mario worm it might come back to it a little bit later so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video everybody and uh, thanks for watching everyone